Well, I booked a movie. Here we go. As all folks played it. <laughs> I'm Savannah Bound. Here we go. I am about halfway through my prime and it just hit me, guys. I'm making a movie. Hollywood, hello, Hollywood, you are so fabulous. Hi, baby, how are you? I'm great. You already know. It's <laughs> H to the O to the double O Y, W to the double O D. Yes. I'm simply the creative one born across the sea, where <laughs> sake is the top shelf tea. Takes up a whole tube <laughs> and well worth it. Grab the window inside the frying pan and see if you can do Don't do me a favor, please. Look at something like that. Yeah, something. Okay. Let's shoot it. Fifty-five, sixty-one. Delta, take, take one. Thank you. And. <laughs> Jerry, um, don't. <laughs> I think this is what we refer to as a rat's nest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is the tease before the storm. Yeah, <laughs> okay. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> boom, boom. And it just creates some lift. Oh, you look sexy. I love it. They're bringing me roses. What she thought you gave it up? Well, what happened was, is like, I'd have to come back to the stage every so often, right? And when I did, I would do commercials or something like that. But I got this agent. We are about to finish day two. We're in the last couple of shots here on Centennial of Love. Money down. Oh. It's day three, and I'm already exhausted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Thursday's day four. Okay, day four, guys, and we're here in the Godfrey Mansion, and this is our um, workshop. Our workshop. Workshop. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna continue making magic. <laughs> TV magic. Wait, wait, wait. Scissors and dusted by iron. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, do your thing. I'm just watching you work. It is day six, we have coffee, we're here for work, hello, hello, and we are at our offices for the day. There's my Kaylee. Hi, 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 hey, where are we? Do you know why we're No. Magnolia Sky. Magnolia Sky. Okay, we're in a new location today. Hi, Karen. Hi, sweetie, how are you? You did an amazing <laughs> job acting on set. And now you sport this silky smooth, flat, straight, like uh -huh. insane hair. We have Isabella going for a new look. It is a straight look. She is at work and she's trying to convince her boss how good she is at her job so that she can be the designer of the Godfrey Gala. We gonna win. We in it to win it. Damn right. <laughs> Action. It's your boy, Hollywood, baby. Dressed in nothing but the most fabulous stars. I see you at the Oscars. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, that okay. was Hollywood. Yes. Oh. <laughs> the costumer of the stars. <laughs> Costumed. <Hey. fun. laughs> Exploring on the day off. Having fun? <laughs> yes. Meet me on our side, the God we love for all time. What would you abandon? Why can't I get it? I love since when, I love since when. It's meet me on my side, the God we love for all time. What would you abandon? I love since when, Andrew and Joe. Goodness. Andrew and Joe. Be my heart. Be my heart. Letters of love. Meet me in Marseille, the remake. Yep. I stood up here and I screamed it. <laughs> uh, to live in that love. To live in that love. And Lord and Lady forever. Boom. Okay, this is the start of week two. Two. Karen is two. here and we are in the hotel room for makeup. <laughs> because we're on location today. <laughs> And there's nowhere to do makeup. <laughs> We're hitting the streets. We're mobile. Yeah. Have a fun day. I think we may do that. Okay, it's beautiful. With the Escada jacket, dog. I'm here for it. Okay. Yes. It's all about magic, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we are. Uh, what day are we? Seven. Day seven. It's day seven, and we're out here. Did you use that shampoo? All right, I gotta know. You can't name all the movies, can you? Of course I can. No way. You can name all the Godfrey movies. Yes. Okay. Do it. Okay. Meet me in Marseille, the Godfrey love for all time. What would you abandon a love since when? Andrew and Joe, be my heart, letters of love. Meet me in Marseille, the remake, to live in that love, and Lord and Lady forever. That was incredible. <laughs> <laughs> Try something harder next time. Impressive. <laughs> All right, we got Boote rolling out of the park, playing some Tom Petty, what's up? Yes! Glad to finally be here. We are glad to have you. Thank you. <laughs> you want to tell me a little bit about your character? My, my character, I think, 
dad has been around for a long time. He's an old guy that works in the garden, and I think he's divorced or his wife died, and I think he's having an affair with Abby. That's Ooh. what I think. Ooh, we're going to have to ask Abby about that. Yeah, yes. I think Abby would Yeah, Abby would go for that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Because I'm always encouraging everybody to be in love. So I'm yes. It's <laughs> great. It's great. Well, <laughs> Russell Cummings, tell us who Blake is. No. Blake is a guy who he loves his work. He loves his craft. He's been in love, but he's had his heart broke a couple of times. I think he's looking for that that girl, that that special girl to to help uh, fill some love in his, in his heart. He needs that love tank filled up, yeah. I think, yeah. He's, I think he's found her. Woo! I think he's found her. I think so. This is what happens whenever you're due for a room touch up. <laughs> Paint. Paint. Hair makeup artist, a medic, and a no nats representative. Yes, okay. yes, whatever that means. This is the hair post bun. It's a wild rat's nest, isn't it, Karen? Yes, it, it is. It makes you nervous. And we're about to make it pretty for the next shot. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is Damien. He is our amazing and fearless director. And he's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and about this amazing movie that we're making. Uh, hello, <laughs> I'm Damien, the director. Um, this is my 29th or 30th movie. And it's a pleasure working with Lisa. She's a great actress and she has a great attitude. And this movie is called Centennial of Love. It's a beautiful romantic comedy uh, that takes place in a wonderful mansion. Uh, and uh, I don't know, what else? <laughs> um, what's your favorite thing about this project so far? Uh, working with the actors. Yay, that's the right answer, Damien. And, and who, who is my favorite director? I am. Ah! <laughs> and our beautiful Suzanne, who plays Abby. Hello. So tell us a little bit about Abby. Uh, Abby is like special. <laughs> <laughs> and she says so. Uh, Abby is um, smart and fun and witty and loving and caring and compassionate and I say witty and beautiful. <laughs> oh my God, she's me. <laughs> <laughs> now she is the caretaker to the mansion and uh, she's the one that guides and helps Blake and Isabella discover their love Woo! through all the artifacts. <laughs> yeah, I know it's great fun. This will be kind of more tight. Okay. So I'll just focus more on the So here we are at the completion of day 11, I believe. Yeah, 11. And um, I keep forgetting to make videos when I get back to my room at night to let you know how my day was. So I'm reporting in for all the other nights as well. So tomorrow is our big gala scene and we start the day super early and Karen comes to my hotel and we are going to start hair and makeup and do full glam. We've got two hours to get it done. 
and it's going to be exciting. It is gala day, and oh. Karen Pretty is day. here <laughs> once again. And back in Karen's chair, she's going to be so happy when she doesn't have to touch my hair and my face. Oh no, I'll be sad. I'll be sad. <laughs> Hi, sweetie. All the way. All, for the gala with my bestie. Hey, no cameras on set. <laughs> Hi, Caroline. Yes, 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 yes. Give me. Yeah. Okay, Mary L for the world. Yeah. Okay. Can we do a last one on me, please? Yes. I'm guessing it's gonna look like we're all really warm on camera. But the truth is we're, we're freezing. Freezing and hungry. Attention, please. Allow me to introduce to you our guest of honor, Agnes Godfrey. Josephine, I thought I saw you today and it brought me joy. Hey, the Godfrey's. It's the perfect romance. It's a shame it's not a real story. Too perfect. You know, you should enjoy a true perfect story when you hear one. Lord Andrew loved her so much. And Lady Josephine, she really was a style icon. You know, she's the reason I first got into design. Time to send it over to the big boss herself. Hey, Isabella. Your job will be to design a signature dress for the Godfrey Centennial Gala. Erwin Jefferson, curator of the Godfrey Manor. You. you. Blake here has been hired to make a film celebrating the Godfrey anniversary. Everything in this house holds real significance to the story. Why don't you be my tour guide for the day? Walking through the Godfrey story could help you find the right design. Lord Andrew Godfrey fell in love with a maiden of the house. Josephine was standing next to a statue of Aphrodite. She took his breath away. We just need a little reenactment footage. Action. It's the perfect stand-in for Josephine. Keep your eyes on the road. Okay. Oh. Oh. Did you get that? That's the shot. <laughs> He's a little bit charming. It's like he can't take anything as it is. Don't you find this a little too on the nose? The famous Godfrey letters of love. So do you think they had a spy code? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. This room has great significance. These are all markers of adventure for the Godfreys. Great love is built on these moments. I'm really happy that I'm able to be able to share this with you. The guest of honor, the last surviving Godfrey relative. I love it. You are the only one who's truly understood. Thank you so much, Miss Godfrey. I found a letter. Josephine briefly fell in love with someone else. 
You only care about poking holes in things. All you do is bury yourself in this story because it's easier than putting yourself out there. I've loved this story my entire life. You can't hold out for a perfect romance. It doesn't exist. The Godfreys don't have anything on you. Being here with you has changed me. I'm falling for you.